believe we are live and so if that is the case uh ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to summit league racing welcome to back to the elite division for round five of uh yeah of season five so uh yeah we've got zandvoort today a brand new track and uh i am your host i was co-commentary last week I'm host this week uh, is SLR Owen, and joining me today is race winner from last night in Division 3, was also the driver of the day in Division 3 last night, but is also now a Division 2 driver as of oh, this morning, I know. DNK Rando 18. So uh, how are you doing, mate? How are you feeling? How are you looking forward to today? I'm pretty good. I'm excited. I think it's going to be, it's a tricky track to overtake. So I think, particularly if your qualifying goes badly, I think there's a lot of opportunity for some good wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles on track and i'm excited to see what happens yeah it should be a, a great little race out to there today we've had a pretty decent uh time so far and just by looking it looks a bit wet out on track yeah it's very murky i think you can see a puddle in the bit there uh, i have got confirmation though i've uh i've just had a message from freeman he uh who is talking about freeman he's uh not had a, an amazing start to the season but um he, nonetheless, uh, yeah, he's just uh, let me know it's going to be all dry still, nonetheless, even though it doesn't look like... Oh, apparently you've got rain at the end of quali, so oh. right at the end, so that will be... Maybe we'll have a, quite an exciting Q3 as we're yeah. waiting for the first drivers to come out. We haven't had any yet. Yeah, I think possibly a spanner in the works there. Maybe people deciding to get their quickest laps in, start of Q3. Rather than waiting to the end, I reckon. Yeah, we've got our first driver out, which is going to be UK Beast Assassin. And uh, he hasn't had the greatest of starts either. Of course, he's the Division 2 champion last season, as uh, we've pointed out pretty much every week so far. And uh, But he's currently sat, well, I guess you could say 17th, but it's also joint 15th in the standings. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, because we've got five, uh, six drivers, sorry, who haven't yet to score, and he's one of them. He's uh, had quite a hard start, and unlike some of the guys that he's come out, come up with, we've had, uh, I think we had three, four drivers come up from Div 2 all the way up to Elite, and uh, he was one of them. He's probably had the worst start at a lot, only just though, because Darnell has uh, only got one point. Crispy's had a pretty decent start to the season, but um, yeah, anyone you got your eye out for today? I think in qualifying especially, it's got to be Freeman qualifying first in Vietnam and China. He's probably going to be looking to make it three in a row. He hasn't had the best performance in the races, but I think he's going to be trying to turn that around this race. Yeah, so uh, as you, yeah, as you hit, so he's had a very good start with qualifying and everything, and it's just fallen away from him in the race. He hasn't quite had the race pace, it's fair to say. He's been outpaced by his teammate, Zydrad, who... Uh, Freeman's not used to that, getting beaten by his teammate. And uh, at the minute, it's Freeman sat in P7, so he's still got a few points. He's only got 36 points. He is 13 points down from his teammate, Zydrad, despite I'm pretty sure he's out-qualified in uh, five, four out of four, I should say, so far. But um, yeah, Zydrad is, has been beating him in the races, and that's what where the points are. So we've got uh, Beast's start in his lap now. As a, yeah, so... Yeah, we're just kind of looking through, just waiting for some of the guys to start that out at times. Beast is going to be the first person too, so we'll ride on board with him. Got, uh, we've got Let's Go Reno in the chat from Nicky. We've got Dylan and Ham. Ham's the current championship leader as it stands. Of course, he was a runner-up last season as uh, Beast goes purple sector one. Unexpected, I mean, sorry, unsurprisingly, I should say, because he's the only person yet to set a sector one time. But um, yeah, as we were saying... Uh, Ham is the current leader of the championship, just about, not by too much, he's only 8 points clear of his twin brother, but it was uh, roles reversed from last season, if uh, you're new to the, well, new to the to the stream, or new to the channel, new to the league, you uh, you might not know, but uh, yeah, Ham came second last year to his brother, and it was very close, it went down to Abu Dhabi, I had the pleasure of commentating the finale as Beast will set the first lap time with a 1 minute 9.7. No, interesting what, uh, to see if Goes can do anything. So what do you reckon uh, your your prediction for maybe the cut-off time will be for today? Just random guesses. I'm going to go with a 
109.5, I reckon. I'm feeling as a cutoff. I think it's a faster driver. Yeah, uh, Beast's out. teammate, Ghost Colt, goes uh, just above him, just by three tenths of a second. Sorry to cut you off there. Um, oh, no, it's Yeah, we've just got a first couple of times coming in. As I believe that's Merck's about to cross the line. No, it's not. It's Mezzas. I was wrong. And he goes P2. Yeah, I've got a well, couple on and out. To start a lap. Do you want to ride on board with him? Maybe give us a little lap around. Is it <laughs> somebody uh, just quit? I think is it Sarah is just uh, sparked on track. I don't know whether he had a spin or something. I think so. He's probably trying to just get out of the way. Oh anyway, wait, Freeman's yeah. going to be trying to maximise. Really, it's here. It's about maximising wheels. Well, minimising wheel spin. Little downshift to sixth, maybe up to seventh there. Awful call this one, going purple there. I mean, what else do you expect from Freeman? He's been on it in quali. He's qualified first three of the four races so far. Nicely getting out of the way there. Up into seventh. Hard on the brakes at the curb. Using a bit of the exit into second. Short shifting to third. Hard on the power. Another tricky corner, making sure not to get track limits. Pretty safe there from Freeman. Probably wanting to bank a lap. Using the wall nicely. DRS is open, and that looks like quite a nice lap. 109, 1 from Freeman. That's going to put him in nice in provisional pole. Yeah, very solid lap there. And uh, we're just getting the first couple guys in the... In the uh chat just getting their little predictions in it soon we've got up the alpha come on let's go goat midzi from benz who of course is a, a div 2 driver for the alpha and male likewise with nicky with the renault when we said about him earlier uh just greeting everybody into the chat we've got uh is that hopefully that says oh hardy says uh midzi is gonna lose he's gonna bottle it or well, uh he's a race winner already this season he won in bahrain um Perhaps well he had a he had a bit of a, a shocker last time out to be fair to him. He got a puncture on the last lap. He wasn't running in the points, but then he uh he was P eleven and got a puncture on the last lap, tried to stretch out some hards that I think he pitted very early on with, so um yeah. Nonetheless, he uh yeah, he didn't have a great showing out and uh, neither him or Jam scored a point, so it really opened up the championship battle. So a lot of the guys are very close now at the top and so we're really looking for something good. For well, for the, the remainder of the season, yeah, only eleven points separate the top four. So, bad race today could offset offset the championship quite a large amount. Looks like yeah, it's gonna have rain got, in ten to fifteen minutes. Guys, just yeah. setting some lap times, looking through snipes. She's just gone P six. As I has gone purple with a one oh eight seven. So that's a strong lap time to kick us off really as yeah all the first first lots of lap times are coming in i think that's crispy is about to start a lap i think just just having just a little look around uh who's that is that i oh, know i was about to see if that's smoke it's not i think uh there we go i think darnell's just gone p7 i'm trying to just find everyone really yeah darnell Young starting a lap time Oof, Saar getting yeah, very I've noticed, close. Um, oh, sorry. Oh no, I was just saying, Saar nicely getting out of the way. <laughs> Pretty much parked his car. <laughs> Side of the track. Well, that's, uh, yeah, not too bad. As, uh, we just watch uh, Merck's about to set his lap time. I think he had to go around again, but he's gone P4 with it, so it's a very solid lap there for him. I think that's going to be para. Next up, we saw that he had a bit of a conundrum. He wasn't sure whether to um, to race or not or watch the Champions League final, which is, uh, I believe is an hour's time. He couldn't decide what he wanted to do. Also, worth noting, Jam's just gone P2. As I think Crispy is about to start to finish his lap. He is. I've noticed one thing, which uh, well, you can see a lot of yellow flags are coming up around the track, and that's because it's very hard to get out of the way around this track. Uh, a lot of the time you'll just have to stop on the side of the road to let somebody through and that's why you've kind of got to be on the lead lap of everybody else so, well not the lead lap but yeah well if you're out of sync with everybody else then it's going to be a bit of a struggle yeah not a track say. you want to get out of sync at at all 
Yeah, Ham's it's... just gone P2 with a lap. I'm trying to come on board with some people. It's quite hard to uh, see. Be like, Beast has just gone P8. Uh, our midi's about to come around the final corner. That's somebody that we'll have to have a look out for. He's setting a banker lap, so it's not really going to be anything in particular that's very exciting. Look at that. 127. 127.2. <laughs> Quality lap time. <laughs> Yeah, As don't think you're going to be getting through that time. Freeman has just continued to go out. He's on four laps that he's gone around on these softs. <sighs> and he's actually just at the purple sector three and doing it. Incredible. 1087, uh, obviously, trying to show his smoke team. about to set a lap, I think. No, he's a bit further back, but I think he is on a lap, so we'll continue to go on board with him just as he enters the final sector now. Oh, Ghost two, Cult spun. Believe... Ghost Cult has spun. Oh. Just... Oof. There's that just at the Get end off the of racing sector line. one. Yeah, after the second right-hander there. He's got enough time to go back to the pits. Locked up all four tyres. Looks like just got a bit keen on the throttle. Ghost Colt there. Oh, that's not a great um, yeah, not a great thing to see for Ghost Colt there. He's just sat in P10. I'd expect that he'll probably go out again a little bit later on, as will a lot of these guys. I think that cutoff that you said with the uh, 1095 is definitely going to be quite close to that, but I reckon it might have to be a little bit above that now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these guys really are quick as Midzi has just set the fastest time. I can't actually remember what it says. There we go. 1086. So that's a pretty fast time. Um, yeah. I'm saying. I you think know, if just, you're in the 1086, you're, you're fine. Darnell oh, looks like he's running out of fuel, maybe even run out of fuel, I can't quite tell. Yeah, he's going very um, slowly. Like he's run out of fuel. Um, so, the next man that will cross the line will be Dylan, who's just started a lap. So, we'll ride on board with him as he comes through the... Uh, I would say it's quite, quite a tricky uphill, that uh, that little run towards the two right-hand... Or two, Ooh. three right-handers, really, isn't it? So um, Yeah, uh, no, it's yeah. hard to get it right. Obviously, these people in Elite, they've probably spent hours and hours practicing. So, they obviously, top of their game, know what's required for the quick lap times. Just can they put it all together? Ooh, not very clean from Dylan there in Sector 3. It's going to be a couple of tenths at least there. So, I've just had a, just had a, a message come through. They reckon it's going to be rain in about 10 to 15 minutes time. So... Maybe we could have a, a juicy end to this session. Maybe not so much this session, but definitely uh, Q2 should be interesting. I think it's fair to say. Oh, uh, I think that <laughs> Beast has just come out very close to Dylan, who's just come in for his for, uh, into the pits. So they're clearly thinking time to come in quickly and get a new fresh set out and whatnot, just to make sure that everything's running smoothly. It was Ghost Colt that came out literally right in front of him, and it scared me a little bit. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, like, Sar's on a lap Sar's still, a lap. so we'll ride yeah. on board with Sar. He's the only man out on track that's on the valid lap. And we've got Mercs and Ghost Colt both on out laps at the minute. So, uh, yeah. As we just have some predictions in the chat. So we see, uh, might as a, have a look and see what people are saying. We've got uh, oh, Midzi for the pole, says Dorsey. I've got, I've got a lot yeah. to make up from. Um, what else we got in here? We've got. Midzi's washed up. We've got a lot of Midzi chat in this in here. Um, <laughs> clearly, he's getting a bit rent free in some people's heads as he often does. Who else we got? Uh, there's not really much else me saying. Yeah, Amico says unsafe release. It was quite an unsafe release. It definitely scared the life out of me. That's one thing for sure. Is I think Saar is probably going to come into the pits because it looks like he's quite a bit down. Yeah, he, he backed off his lap. I don't know whether he's going for another flying lap or into the pits. Oh, he's going again. Well, that, that means that the... Oh, so uh, he'll probably... I, I don't know. What, when's the cutoff? When do you kind of want to get out ready for your next, your final lap, do you reckon? I think here, latest, probably two minutes. Press drive out, but then you've got to do a very quick out lap. I'd say two and a half minutes is a comfortable time to leave. Oh, that looks like, um, yeah, they, you know, if that's the case, yeah, we'll be seeing some very quick lap times. 
Um, so yeah, it's quick out laps getting, make sure you're out in time and whatnot. As yeah, the top five have all retired in the pits. So they think they've done enough. They probably have done enough, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, for instance, the cutoff at the minute, just for... I should say, I uh, should note, to be honest, that only three people going out of this session. There's a, yeah, no, we don't have a single Mercedes driver today. And <laughs> I have read out why, but they see all Crazed Bear aren't here. Um, Motion Hazard we've got in, who's a reserve driver now. He recently went to a reserve. Ghost Colt goes P6 and Merckx goes P4. Saw uh, P11. just gone P11. Is Crispy just, Crispy just started a lap? What about Darnell? He's about to start a lap as well. Just going around, seeing where everybody's at on their track. I think that then looks para. like... Para has just taken a massive... What's he doing? Oh, he hasn't got a front wing. Oh, I just realised that. He hasn't had an got a front wing. Somewhere. So that's not great. I don't know where that would have been. He's clearly had a bit of an incident that we've I, missed out I don't out think on. he's going to get out again. I, yeah, I, that's way. It. I have that's noticed no assist as well. I don't know when this happened, but Smoke is out of the session. So he definitely won't be making it. And I think Crispy's just gone round as well. He has. He's gone round. Where's that yeah, looks he's, like he's... the type right hander? I don't have any turn numbers around this track but yeah he's had an invalidated lap time he's also got some wing damage so i reckon oh i don't know actually because has he gone maybe straight on at a turn that's that's a yeah because he hadn't looks... hit that curb yet that i've i know i definitely uh i think i spun and hit that in q1 uh on friday <laughs> well, he's um, lost an end play yeah Oh, I don't quite know, but Darnell's about to cross the line, goes P5, so that should see him safely through. It looks like Para's probably going to be out of the session. I, I think, I'd like to think he'll try and get back out, and we'll just go and check for him. Oh, he's come back out, but it's going to have to be a very quick outlap for him. He's pretty much going to have to do two flying laps to make sure he sets a lap in time, but I think he should be fine to get out in time, unless he has anybody come out, which doesn't look like he will. Um, UK beast get assassins impeded. on one. So uh, Snipes, I think, has just started what will probably be his final lap. We've got, uh, I think, this Dylan has just come into the pits. He's P7 at the minute. Haz is about to start a lap. There's, uh, we're riding on board with him. Same with uh, Beast. And is... Uh, Oh, I've just seen the yellow flag, but I, that, I think that was somebody retiring the pit, so that's nothing to worry about. Saw, I think, will be next to cross the line. He is going again. He's very close to his current lap time, so he could improve through this final sector. He's not got much ERS left to burn. He's going into the pits, so no, he will not. <laughs> I think he reckons he's done enough. Uh, quite possibly, but we'll have to wait and see. He could definitely still not safe. Para's about to start his lap. He's definitely beat the timing that we said that he might make it out of. Bezzers has still got to get out as well. Same with B-Dunk. And B-Dunk's actually going to be quite close. But I think he should be fine. Um, Snipes will be the next one on a flying lap, which he isn't. He's actually about to start a lap, I think. Uh, no, he's not. He's pulling into the pit. So that could see Snipes out of qualifying. He clearly he's doesn't really think he can do much more. B Dunk is about to, has just started at a lap, I do believe. And oh, the motion has just crossed the line there. That's P17 for him, so he's out of qualifying. Yeah, Beast, Beast is invalid, so he can't make it. Yeah, he lost the rear end coming out of turn 13. So all lies on one man, and that man is Paraquix. His home Grand Prix. He set a purple sector two. He's yeah. just about up on his time. So could we see a, just a bit more improvement to see him up into Q2? He's yeah, very the... he has struggled a lot this season compared to last year. Uh, can we yeah? Can we see him get up into Q2? Possibly. Not quite. And he doesn't. He just no. misses out by four oh, hundredths of a second. So Bezzers and B Dunk won't need to set a lap time, but I believe they're still going to go for it. Bezzers goes P12. B dunk is invalid, so he'll pull into the pits, hopefully, and that will be 
it's only three drivers going out as we said there's no mercedes are gonna be scoring points so that hampers their hopes in the joint constructors even more as they <laughs> i believe they are struggling quite a bit at the minute um but nonetheless uh yeah we've got smoke para and hazard are all out after the first qualifying session as here we go here's the the top guys, Midzi is currently fastest, followed by the two Haas drivers. And as you can see, yeah, we've got Smoke, Hazard and Paraquix in 18th, 17th and 16th, respectively. Respectively. Yeah, no, I did say that right, didn't I? <laughs> Snipes just making it out by the skin of his teeth, literally just looking there. 400 for a second. Same with Beast. Beast wasn't too far off of getting eliminated, but that's up into Q2 for him. Uh, yeah, we've got some. Any surprises, would you say, there from just from the Q1 showings? Not particularly. I mean, I think Beast will be happy to have got to Q2. I think, I mean, Smoke, unlucky for him, not setting a time. Not too sure what happened there. Don't know whether he disconnected or whether he's just crashed. <laughs> we just missed it. Yeah, not not quite sure what happened, actually. I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't have anything, didn't see what happened to Smoke. That's probably the biggest shock. I don't know if we've had a message in the chat about it. But, um, well, we've got Benz saying that Para does that just to spice up the race a little bit more. He likes to get knocked out early on, apparently, according to Benz. <laughs> so, yeah, Benz has still got high hopes for his uh, distant Alfa Romeo teammate. So, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the guys are coming out very quickly. So we do reckon that the rain is on its way. I think it's, it's going to be um, quick. Everyone's coming start. out. It's Freeman. No, it's not Freeman the first one out. It's going to be Jam. He's going to be the first one out. So the current Div one, the reigning Div One champion, followed by the season three Div One champion. So oh yeah, you can, I think we can see a couple raindrops just falling. Uh, I think there's only two people who haven't come out. Looks and, to be yeah, Snipes uh, and Saw. Yeah, there is rain. I think I just saw yeah. raindrops in the pit lane. Yeah, Bezos is just coming out. Bezos is going to be a little bit of clean air, but as you can see, a lot of the guys are racing around the track. Right, yeah, Freeman they're coming out the pits jam now. Very close. We're getting a little pre-season race, almost you could say, between these two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're really close together on track, actually. Yeah. Are, are they trying to get a race just to see who can get get out quickest? Oh, I don't know. I yeah, think they're probably the raindrops are falling. Yeah, it's not going to impact them too much if it keeps this light rain. They've just got to try and get a lap, a good, a good solid, tidy lap set now. Can't afford to make mistakes. Yep, exactly that. As ja yeah, there we go. Jammers. Uh, well, Freeman just backed off a little bit going into well just before the banking. Traffic Lovely banking <laughs> here at the final corner around here, and Jam shoots off to start the lap. So we'll ride on board with him and see, as you, as you can see, some of the raindrops falling down to second gear for a very nice bank to left-hander. Very tricky, but it is very tough nonetheless. Look at those raindrops falling just as, <laughs> as we go down towards the two right-handers here. Three right-handers, I should say, really. Triple right-hander is, of course, purple sector one. Will that be beaten by Freeman? It looks like it, it will. was. And uh, in fact, we'll get Freeman ready so he can cut to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, down through that left hander can be very slippery getting on the traction out of there. As, uh, a lot of the guys have found out so far. Into the final sector now, just this little chicane, and then it's pretty much straightforward, other than the very last turn, which is going to be you're going to go up the gears normally to around six. Quick downshift, he's gone down to gear four, really revved the hell out of that in gear four, and uh, shot through gears coming through. Eighth gear now crosses the line with a one minute nine. And Freeman, Freeman one will minute beat nine that just by more. Darnell Darnell's very, very close, close to that actually. Very good lap time from him. Lap time yeah, just he's streaming he's coming. in. Merck's ham goes fastest there. As I don't think I can quite keep up, so I'm gonna hit Midzi at the end. I'm gonna <laughs> he's at the end of this train at the minute, so I'm gonna go on board with him. Yeah, look at the times are falling in. Crispy goes P five and and then we've got Snipes, Snipes and Saar Sa who are just at the back. Could it come back to bite them? It looks like the guys that went out earlier have definitely been hampered the least. As, yeah. Yeah, it looks like the Ferraris, they came out pretty much side by side. Snipes, Snipes goes P10. So the, and Saar so 11. Saar goes P11. 
So the bottom five as it stands will be Sar, Ghost Cult, Beast, Dylan and Bezzers. So looking at that, the Ferrari boys probably won't be too happy with that. Ghost Cult, of course, with a podium last time out in China. And it's going to be oh, a bit scary because I don't know if people are going to be able to set any more laps, really. Oh, I would be surprised be if tight. they saw people out. Yeah, I think that was their one shot. I think it's just, I'm assuming the rain's just going to start getting heavier and heavier. And then... Yeah, have they changed it from a full quality to one shot, it seems? <laughs> Apparently they have. If so, I mean, snipe so... sort of scraped through. Yeah, so Snipes has uh, just managed to get through a little but very well there indeed. As you can see, a lot of the guys pulling into the pits for what we will assume to be the last time. Is there anybody that's perhaps planning on going Mid out on the second maybe. lap? Going very safe, getting out the like... way of traffic. Nah, I think he's just practicing getting out the no, way. He's there. coasting through there, he won't yeah. be sending another lap. Oh, we do have some, some oh, person, uh, Sar is. He's pushing again now. He clearly wants to get out as soon as possible. So let's see how he'll do. Ooh, bit of a slight nice bit of a lock up, up there into the what is it, I believe turn three. Um, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't look like we're gonna have too many more in there. Um, now he's improving. Oh, okay. I see. As we yeah, come he's up back to here, He is seven tenths down so it looks like this could be it really yeah wonder if people are going to start retiring now <laughs> just it's cut the session likely. as uh rang has made it into the chat we've got uh ham so uh ham said that daisy should be joining for the race so still a possible chance of points for the mercedes fellas here uh, around the divisions of course, you're a former Mercedes man yourself. I am, yeah, as of <laughs> as of yesterday. Yeah, uh, we woke up this morning. You're no longer a, a Div Three driver. You've been moved up. So, uh, congratulations for you for that. Thank you very much. After debut win. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, deserved. Oh, a few people on an outlap. Goals code. Oh, so a couple of guys are coming out again. Who's going to be first to do so? That will be Dylan. Maybe they're just testing the. The track hopefully it's uh hopefully it'll maybe dry up so we can get a bit more representative lap times they reckon it could be inter's weather for q3 so we shall wait and see um yeah we'll, uh, we'll have to see how it all goes but uh we're gonna ride on board with dylan as he starts what we assume will start on a lap we'll see if he can improve he'll be hoping to do so with yeah, what we've got at the minute. We've got the likes of Beast and Sar still in the pits. And I've just looked towards the uh, got the joint constructors up here, and I said about Mercedes having a bit of a shocking start. <laughs> they're currently P9, so they're not last. It's currently McLaren that are last, which is they're normally quite a bit of a struggle. Uh, well, I should say a bit of a. They're normally quite a staple name in Essendon. Normally the McLarens do quite well, but they're struggling a bit this season. And we've only got one in the top 15 tonight. Could he be in the top 10? It looks likely, as it stands, but Ooh, we'll say the bottom no four have all come out. As Dylan has backed off it. Have he given up? I don't quite know. Oh, I can't see times improving. Doesn't seem like it. Um, yeah, Bezzers is just a bit too much down his time. Almost a second down. Ghost Colt is six tenths down, so that's going to be horrendous news for him. It definitely, this sort of weather really affects the guys that are uh, at the back. Or I should say towards the front of the pit exit, if you know what I mean. So, like, for mm. instance, the Williams guys would benefit more if they're the quickest on the button, ready to start. Then they'll be clearly first one out, and they'll be the best, uh, most likely to get an advantage, which we saw the likes of Jam and Freeman do early on. Freeman's currently sat in P2, got a nice little toe off of Jam, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, Jam sat in P7, which is enough for now. I'm sure he won't be too pleased with P7, but he has struggled in quality as of recently, so we'll see. 
Oh, I, I think see D bonk or B dunk out on a lap, but don't think he's going to be improving. Yeah, Beast is retired, so he clearly doesn't think that's enough. In fact, has he spun out? I think he's spun out, hasn't he? Possibly. It, shows it looks like he has. Track. He might have crashed. I can't looks spectate, things. unfortunately. It looks I like he's crashed go. just on the exit of turn one. Well, that's not great news. No. no nor the Ferrari team. Not the qualifying he was expecting. Just looking well, I'm here. Sure he wasn't expecting for it to end in the barrier now, was he? So, um, <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, we move on. And uh, Beast will definitely not be making it out of the session. That's confirmed now. As B Dunk Hall gets a little bit of a slide on there. Just on the exit of what is the horrid left handed banking. As we see, uh, we saw a big crash there in Div 1 right at the end. And um, yeah, we've uh, seen quite a lot of. People struggle around certain parts of this track, I think it's fair to say. As all oh, he gets the back end a little bit out there, but he corrects himself well. He's one of the, the our drivers that has got runs literally no assists. If you think of a single assist, B Dunk doesn't run it. He's one of the few drivers in SLR that does that. He's got a, got no line, no traction control, no ABS, it's all he does it all himself, but um it still seems like I don't think he'll be able to go quicker. As yeah, you can see, 109, 10, 11, it looks like that's going to be nah. um If I was him, yeah, I'd I think be it's too wet now, pits. unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're going to see people Sars start retired trying. from the session in the pits, so yeah. He's... Clearly, that's it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of people start retiring. I don't think there's any improvement left. For any of the drivers, been told, been told that it's going like to dry 15. in around 15 minutes, so we yeah. could have some speedy ending to this session. So it could, from what it seems, that we might start Q3 on inters, but we, we shall see. We at least that's what I've been told is that it might be an inters start, but we're not 100 percent sure to the to the third and final qualifying session. Um. Yeah, as I say, we're not 100% sure. A lot of the guys are retiring now, so I doubt we're going to see any more action in this qualifying session. Yeah, I agree. To go into the race, who's your money on? If we assume the top yeah, 10, I think... or as they are, going to Q3. Yeah. Ooh. If As it seems that it's going to be these guys in the top 10... Uh... Uh, looking at it, I wouldn't be surprised if we see either Freeman or Midsy on pole. That's probably what most people's predictions for pole will be. Uh, I don't know. I don't th well, Freeman has struggled with race pace a lot this season, so I don't think he'll be able to do it. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Midsy do pretty well uh, tonight. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't look too far past the win for him. Of course, we've got the Ham Jam brothers there. Always up there, and they're, they're currently the top two in the championship, so you can't look past them either. Ham's clearly shown some pace, even if it was a wet start, he's still got um, a very decent lap time in there. If a Q2, uh, yeah, Midsy was fastest in Q1, followed by the, both of the Hasses, so Zydrad as well. He's currently set in P8, but as we say, it's a wet quality, anything can really happen in a wet quality. Any shocks there? I think Bezes is normally quite staple name in the top 10 so I think it's quite a shock if I'm not mistaken and just by the look of that uh, look at all these people that have retired Dylan, Bezers and Ham the only people left to retire same with now it's just Dylan and Ham so we'll wait and see <laughs> Ham's gone and now it's just Dylan, the onus is on Dylan is he going to move again is he going to do it are we going to be able to skip to Q3 two minutes early we shall see. Um, any, uh, let's get some predictions in the chat. Let's see uh, who, who are we thinking now. Here we go. There we go. Dylan's done it. Ghost Cole set his lap on the medium tyres. I should have seen that. Um, yeah, that's that was quite a interesting, mistake. to be honest. That's Surely that why, was a mistake. Yeah, that's that's the reason why. Clearly, uh, I'm not I'm not too surprised, but that was probably what cost him a P10 finish in the end. Yes, yeah, uh, think... Saar, the two Ferraris of Ghost Cult and Beast Assassin, Dylan and Bezers. The bottom five. 
So the top 10 being Ham, Freeman, Darnell, with a solid P3 actually, it must be said, Midzy, Crispy, Mercs, Jam, Zydrad, B-Dunk, and Snipes. So it's an all-British top 10 other than two American drivers. So it's very <laughs> clear as to um, what uh, nationalities people are. It's quite normally quite mixed uh, all around us, are It's quite nationwide. For, well, not nationwide, just global, <laughs> really. I don't really know yeah. how to say it. We've got Crispy for pole. Oh, I could oh, no, for pole, we've got a lot. <laughs> Come on, Seam Hass, says Plum Gorilla. Yes, indeed. I, uh, he's supporting his team. <laughs> I've got to stay as unbiased as possible. Luckily, you can because you're a reserve driver at the minute, but I can't. And oh my gosh, that's very wet. Yeah, buffing <laughs> down on the wet. full wet tyres. In fact, yeah, the full wet tyres. Wow. Darnell's, is it Darnell the first one? I think it's B-Dunk actually, B-Dunk's the B-Dunk's out. out on the full wet tyres. Got a Haas coming out also Number on the full wet. Like, I don't think we're going to be seeing Inters. I think we're just going to be seeing full wets. Time to see whether the boys... Practice wow. with a wet time trial. Yeah, um, definitely will be interesting to see if the, they've had it and had much wet practice. I know I definitely didn't have any, and then we had a pretty much full wet race <laughs> on Friday, which was really fun for myself. And uh, ended up crashing out in quite a spectacular fashion. But uh, <laughs> it's not about my race. As uh, Darnell selects the Inters. He's maybe just checking between the two which one he thinks is going to be better off. So we've got, uh, yeah, we've anyway, we've, we have Darnell for pole from Ranga. We've got Crispy for pole from Liam. We've got, uh, as I said, we've got Come On Team Ass. We've got Mr. Rhymer for pole. I don't think he's racing again, Ranga. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's the same thing as what we had last week. And we've got Ham for pole from Nikki. So a lot of people are just supporting their teammates well maybe not so much uh for you know the likes of crispy and darnell from the chat but you know the teammates have got to support their teammates that's what they're there for at the end of the day as b dunk started his lap very wide berth for turn one maybe he just had a bit of a, a bit aquaplaning yeah fair Oof. Interesting to see the As different Darnell lines. Darnell has gone it? out on the Inters. He's on the Inters, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was I just a glitch. <laughs> no, he's on. I, I do think, not I think. I don't think it's a glitch. I think he's gone out on the Inters. He's going to yeah, gamble, isn't it? That's not going to work. I can't see that. It's too wet. Looks like Zydrad's going to be the next person to cross the line after B-Dunk to set full lap times. So Mitzi will be just after following him. So... Uh, he'll ride and board a B-Dunk through this lap because why not and has somebody spanned no I think that's I just Snipes getting think... ready for his lap yeah I think he's just prepping um, himself there. yeah yeah um, there we go so the, this final little chicane complex through the stadium for B-Dunk Zydrad purple sector 2 so could we see him go perhaps on pole uh, well, the provisional pass, I say, a bit of a slicey, slightly back end there for Zydrad. No, for Zydrad, sorry, for B Dunk, I should say. Here comes Zydrad in the Hass. We'll see what he can do compared to him. And he goes six tenths faster, so a very subtle, subtle that time. And we've got a ham in the gravel. We do. On the we have a that very is hand. on that uphill climb, isn't yeah. it? I'm That's just coming out of turn six. To start the exit of the first right-hander. Oh, he's got to try and get out the way. Oh, no, he's coming towards it. Ooh. He's done well to get out of the way of Mercs there. Yeah, very hard he to comes stay out of the way. Goes P three. Sorry, Jam. I should say goes P three. Midzi managed was just a tenth off of Zydrad. So clearly, it was a good lap time there for Zydrad. I'll be happy uh, with that. Darnell is going to be next across the line on the Inters. So this will be the interesting one to see how he does. Uh, I don't think it's quick enough nah. just yet. That's... He's two seconds down. That's not over worth two man. seconds down, in fact. B -dunk. Freeman. Oh no, who's that? That's Freeman. It's gone P three. I don't think he'll be happy with P three. I think he wants more. Yeah, wouldn't be too surprised. Snipes gets the back end out a little bit, and he goes fast. It's a very sub lap time there in the wet from Snipes SB. Uh, so here comes Mercs, and he'll go P eight. And uh, of course, Ham will be setting his one minute forty-one uh, 
uh, with the trip through the gravel to accommodate that. I think you can take uh, a few tents yeah. out of that lap time at least. <laughs> can have One jam. thing to note is that Crispy hasn't uh, come out of the pits yet, I don't believe. I do no, believe everyone but... is still in there, but um, let's see. We've got anything more left? It's supposed to be all dry for the race, Panther. We've got uh, Jimps saying Midzy for pole. He's currently sat there. He's In fact, he's just gone quicker and we've just missed it. He's just gone <laughs> quickest so far. So he's on provisional pole. He's, I what I believe, is just two hundredths quicker. I can't really see it. He's used the back end a little bit there. I think he's going for it again, to be honest. But just by looking at how his laps have gone so far. Debunk on he's the He's the tenth up through the first sector. And Sidrad. Fitting the Inters. Don't know whether they Ooh, had a plan yeah. to come out. Could it be time for some Inters laps? Possibly. Darnell's gone round again, I can see. Uh, I might just go to him as he hits the first sector, just to see what the difference is. As B-Dunks come out on the Inters as well, as I think I just saw Merckx. Oh, Ham has just gone fast for a very solid lap time, 120.6. They do reckon that the rain is clearing a little bit. It doesn't look like it's raining as much. Darnell oh, yellow has flag. increased, but not McLaren's enough. Snipes, Ooh, I think snipes. he might have just been getting out of the way there. Quite possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, Midzi's pulled into the pits, even though he was up through Sector 1. I didn't see what he was like through Sector 2, however. And Darnell will be next across the line. He's now four a... tenths up. In fact, he's going to be oh. in the purple middle sector, according to that. Merck struggling to get out of the way, nearly damaging his front wing. Must be said, Darnell did improve his lap time, and he's uh, he has gone up to P7, which we missed. We've man I've managed to miss quite a lot. Um, <laughs> Which is quite clever of himself, but looks like, it looks like it's get, definitely getting out drier out there. Looks like we've got a lot of inters, inters runners. Interesting uh, to see what's sure a couple of guys are coming out and coming back in for inters laps. As could we perhaps be seeing? I think B Dunk's about to start a lap. Looks like he's going to be the first man to do so. Snipes. On the wet, still Willie Pitt for Inters. Got enough time. So Snipes is pitting for Inters. Obviously, they are better time. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting that most of the guys will be as. Oh, B Dunk just loses the back end a little bit there. Just does a little bit of a slide, but he manages to get it out of uh, get it out of a spin again. The back end kicks out for him. Works in the gravel. I think he lost it a bit, put on, pulled on the brakes and had to get out of the way of Jamham. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, comes in for some inters in uh, not just a second. Uh, yeah. Shall see. Wet's not working anymore. As I say that no, Ham Jam not. goes fast, fastest on the wet. Has he gone even faster? I think he might have done. He's going to bounce try When did he set that? I don't I know. I think that was a while ago. It was fitted fresh inters. I think Merck's the last person on the wets will be fitting the inters now. There you go. Three so that's, on lap. that's how we can find out where they were last time. Here comes B Dunk who hasn't set his lap time, so he clearly doesn't fancy it just yet. Is there anybody else on a lap? I think Freeman's on a lap at the minute. Daisy has left the session, so you might have to get him in just before the end back, yeah. of quali. Uh, because yeah, he's supposed to be joining for the for the race. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who else we got? Is there anybody else? I think Zydrad's on the lap on the inters. I mean, he's he's going quicker, so I think it's definitely going to be quicker lap times on the inters. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a purple lap time hit, which we do with a one nineteen two, so one point four seconds quicker. As people will be coming in and just. Getting better and better. Got that Mids, he's about to start his lap time, and here we go. Everyone is on the inters now. Z Dunk, I'm sure, will be coming out see. shortly. Um, I said, white, I mean, white into the game. Great. Yeah, so if you can invite Rando, uh, sorry, Rando, if you can <coughs> invite Daisy as soon as possible, I should say. 
lovely that uh freeman goes fastest which i've missed as uh i expect now once people come out they were uh, once they've set their laps i think snipes is about to start a lap we've got a bit of a a train form in here i don't know whether mid seat oh i've just pressed the wrong button i'm gonna say mid seat isn't on a lap at the minute oh yeah i think he might be actually and we're about to find out because he goes purple in the second sector I have a slight feeling it could be the last person that sets the lap is going to get pole here because I feel like the track is ever drying. Yeah, they're all going to use the same. They're riding board with Midsy. The rain is still falling down. Good to see that Daisy's back in the session and uh, Midsy goes fastest by. Am I correct in saying that that's by half a second? So um. Clearly, it's getting quicker. Oh, it is. Wrong buttons again, amazing. <laughs> Darnell goes fastest, but by and again another two tenths. I think Freeman's just started a lap. So some of the guys will be starting their last laps now. Crispy is pulled into the pits, so he's not going to better his lap time. It's just a fifth place for him. I don't know if he'll finish in P5 though. Freeman's on a flying. Uh, Freeman lap, is just started a lap, I believe. I don't think Looks he's... like it. Uh, next man that will finish a lap is going to be Snipes. So we're going to... The camera's going to go with him as he goes to cross the line. Could be P3 for him at the minute. But two seconds up on his current lap time. Just on three minutes. As Eduk is going to go and cross the line to start off a lap. According to our sheets. And Ham. Two, almost two seconds up on his Ooh, lap Freeman, time. Freeman, six tenths fast faster in sector two. Ooh, lap wow. times are plummeting at the moment. eight for Ham there. That's ridiculous. In fact, Midsy matches him, but it's not quite enough. I need to pay attention to the times where are these plummeting. Are. Merckx just goes P3. Freeman's looking Darnell, very he's just quick. Set a lap time. He's just beaten him. Wait, get me on uh, Zydrad's case. It's he'll cross the line, go P5. Freeman will be next. He it was six tenths off in sector time. two. Will it be enough? Who is going to be the first person to cross the line and finish it definitely for the session? Here he first. goes. He goes he fastest won. of all. First. With a 117.5. Will that be enough? He's yet to see. Snipes is three tenths up on his current lap time, but he's going to have to improve by more if he's going to get pole and he's going to snatch it off of Freeman. We wait and see if that's going to be the case. Here he comes, across the line. We P6 for him. Which uh, clearly is not enough for Pole. As it's going to be <sighs> B Dunk now, followed by uh, Ham. B Dunk, B -dunk goes, goes P9, Mike. which means Crispy's going to be P10. That's confirmed. That's the bottom two confirmed. Ham will beat Freeman's time and go provisional Pole. Here comes Midzy. Can Midzy do anything to better it? Pulls around now, and he goes even faster. So that's going to be his time. Here comes Merckx. Merckx goes P4. Darnell's just about to finish his lap time, and I think he might be out of fuel. I think he is. As Zydrad is invalid, he was up on his time, but it's only going to be P7 for him. Freeman's, and Jam I think is out of fuel that. as well. So that is it. Unless Freeman can improve, but I don't think he can. I be able to just uh, snatch no, that's pole. It for no. All of the lap times. Oh. He, uh, I think Freeman was was actually had already finished his lap. Really? Oh, I so, thought... but that's it. There Bot we go. Was uh, qualifying is done. <clears throat> there we go. And the man on pole is Midzi Fifteen in the Alfa Romeo. A lot of the people said that. Uh, someone said Midsy's done three flying laps in a row, which is not bad. It was an amazing Q3. It really was. I couldn't really see what everything is. Look at that. The top three separated by 400 for the second. It's Midsy 15 on pole, followed by Ham Jam 2002. SLR Freeman is in P3, followed by Merckx 47 in P4. I think he's going to be on the second row. Very solid for him. Darnell in P5. Again, a very solid showing for the racing point. Snipes in P6 in the McLaren. We've got the Zydrad. In the second half, he's in P7. Jam is in P8. He'll be looking to do better in the race, I'm sure. The current championship second place. B-Dunk's in P9. And 
crispy is in P10 after he failed to set a lap time at the end. Any standouts there for you, mate? Well, I think mid's a obvious standout. I mean, to beat Freeman for pole, he's, Freeman's looked very competitive. And yeah. I think mid's a, the predictions were in the chat. Um, there was a banging, banging couple of laps from Midsy, getting faster and faster and faster, and he is probably my he standout. Was. Yeah, so uh, as we enter the grid, uh, we are, of course, if you're new, as we say every week, it's uh, I guess it's probably going to be quite an overcast race, as we're not supposed to be expecting rain. It's supposed to be wet, uh, so we're supposed to be dry, not wet. As uh, Baggy has asked if it's a wet race, and I do believe it is a dry race throughout. But nonetheless, as if you are new to the league and you don't know already, we have a five-minute break that takes place in between the end of Q3 and the start of the race and the start of the formation laps. So it's the perfect time to get all your necessity, necessities done. Love my little bit of dyslexia coming every now and then. <laughs> uh, but it will be seen as how people can do as a... We'll be asking for some predictions here in the chat, and then you can get all your stuff you need to get done done before the race. So if you need to get a quick drink, grab the popcorn, because we know it's already going to be a banger from what we've seen this week. We know it's going to be a good race and definitely worth getting some popcorn out, maybe getting some drinks out, get a fizzy drinker, get a, you know, maybe have to nip to the loo beforehand so you don't miss a single beat of this race. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. I'm excited to see how this one goes. I really am. Mm. I'm excited. Well, I'll I think... get the uh, race director up so you can see the grid. And so far, it looks like everyone's starting on the softs. Other than Parrot, it looks like he's starting on the hards, so he'll be probably doing an alternate strategy. I do believe the the main strategy is soft hard. Uh, yeah. Do correct me if I'm wrong. That soft hard is the way to go. For sure. You can yeah, comfortably and, do a uh, one stop. So I'd expect uh, para is going to be hard to soft and smoke has just selected the hard tire as well so let's get some predictions in the chat who do you think is going to get the win who do you think is going to round out the podium he's going to get if you've really fancied yourself who do you think is going to get the fastest lap if you think there's going to be maybe a surprise person that's coming out through the ranks as we might see someone you know like Saar who's going to be in p11 he's going to have fresh softs compared to the guys in the top 10 maybe he'll be able to grind up the field a little bit same with likes of ghost cult beast dylan they're going to be flying i'm sure coming out off the start on their fresh softs but a lot of the guys maybe we'll see some good bits from the alternate strategies and of course now we've got daisy here as well so it makes 19 drivers out of a possible 20 so a very decent little turnout there shame we couldn't get everybody in but uh i don't know how long we've got now until the start of it but let's have a see what we can say what's your prediction for for the race mate I want to. I think Free, Freeman's got a lot on the line this race. I think starting P3, if he gets a nice start, holds position, maybe even gets up to second, he could be in for the win because track position is so valuable around this track. A few safety cars could throw strategy up in the air and it can make it really interesting from our point of view. Yeah, so uh, oh, so, uh, we've got Baggy has said Colt's going to get faster. That we reckon Jam's going to get a podium. Uh, we've got para for pass fastest that we've also got a para for podium for uh ben so around his own grand prix that'd be pretty impressive for para to get that and i do believe we're going in just one minute so here we go it's just actually hit 56 so um i believe people are going to start readying up maybe it's one of the admins is going to start readying up in a second uh dingle dolphin says i think freeman will win starting on the hards could be something and we've got owen tell us a joke oh i don't know yeah we're ready up now uh uh, if if you want a joke, you can go into the Discord and ask uh, for the dad jokes. I believe Freeman knows how to do that. Um, <laughs> but I've uh, yeah, I'm not not one for jokes. That's uh, Seb's better off at doing that, aren't you? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, All right, here we go. Yeah, the guys are ready up now, so I'll, I'm saved by the bell. Promise. <laughs> uh, we've got up the Williams from Scopes. Of course, the uh, a lot. I've got. Um, Scopes has been one of the man of the week, as he, uh, as it seems, as he, if I'm not mistaken, he uh, won his very first race on when, on sorry, on Thursday in the F2 sprint, and, uh, 
yeah, everyone was very happy as he uh, shared some really personal stuff, and everyone was really touched by uh, by scopes over the course of the last couple of days. And he'll, uh, he's the special guest on the side pod uh, on Wednesday as well, which uh, I'm sure a lot of the guys are looking forward to. They reckon it's going to be the best one yet. So if you don't tune in, I'm definitely going to be there alongside, as per normal, alongside the likes of Callum and Steve-O as we normally have. Ranga, Clark, I'm sure, we are going to be there as well. As We've got somebody that's very slow at the back of the field. Is that Beast? Is that Ghost Colt? Ghost Colt's right at the back of the field. I wonder if he's had a spin early on or something. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Couldn't um, run. Seems to be doing his own thing at the moment. Yeah, oh, so that's on. not great for him. I don't know what's happened, but Mids is going to start looking at the packers. We've got a predicted pit stop strategy. They reckon it'll be a soft to hard or a soft soft medium on the two stop. Because they reckon it'll be a, a lap, around a lap 12 to pit. So we shall see. I think only Colts on the medium tyres. Only one taking that strategy. With what looks to be five people on the hards. Saar, Assassin... Has a smoke and Darcy or opting for what I would assume would be a hard soft strategy. Yeah, I'd assume that'd be the kind of alternate strategy. That's uh, that is hoping on on the yeah. That's hoping that it will be um, no safety car for the start. And there, there's been quite <laughs> a few um, safety cars so far. I do three believe we had three. I want to. We had three and div three, didn't we? We had, yeah. um, I'm not sure how many are in Div 2, I missed Div, Div 2, and I want to say we had definitely at least two full safety cars in uh, Div 1, which uh, eventually led to my demise, was the safety car restart, which was quite sad. <laughs> but anyway, enough about myself, it's time to start racing. Here we go, to five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go. It looks like it was a good start from Ham, but it looks like, I think, oh, Freeman's had a very good start. Freeman. He said, is he going to try and go, go around, around the outside? Side. Ham's going to go for the almost free wide, but Midsy's going to have the better start. And it looks like he's going to be the man. Oh, Hazard's left. Has it, has Hazard's left the session if he could get involved. Freeman goes down the inside ASAP. of Ham there. As uh, Midsy sh shoots away. And he's the man in the lead going into turn one as so i believe that might be Saar who's at the back of the field at the minute i think he's had a spin off turn one Midsy's gonna be the man at the top oh is, it, might, it might be jam actually i think it might be jams at the back he is jams had a spin at the back that's massive i uh, i didn't see what's him. happened between him but he's had a coming together uh has he got any wing damage as he goes past bezers he's got a little bit of wing damage yeah and in fact, so does Bezers as well. Because I wonder if those two came together. No, they were too far away for some to come together, surely. As Midzi is in the well, he's in the lead of the race. And by over a second already, he's clocked out a second to Freeman. Who also had a very good start. Darnell is up at uh, one position. As I'm going to quickly change to some position changes. So we can see Zydrad has gone up to third according to this. In fact, he has. No, he hasn't. That's confusing as all oh, we've got. Uh, that's Darnell's gone round. Darnell's gone round. See if I can catch up to him. He's spun round there at the, just on the exit of turn one. That's horrid to see as Jam and Bezers has both pitted. That's not what we wanted to see off the start. That's horrid for Darnell. We had such a great start. And I'm not quite sure why, but uh, it says Zydrad is in P3. He's got a little bit of a timing glitch there. It seems he's had quite his fair share of timing glitches this season as Zydrad. But I think we're back to normal now. As it goes Midzy from Freeman, from Ham, from Merckx, from Zydrad, from B-Dunk. I believe is the top six and that looks about right. Ghost Colts made up a solid few positions. So has Dylan. They've both made up five and six positions respectively. Powers up into the top ten. So a great start for him in P uh, to get into the points from as low as he started. And the biggest fallers, of course, are going to be the likes of Darnell, Ham, sorry, Jam, and Bezers, who have all had problems with the start, all had spins, it seems. Uh, yeah, just looking oh. back at it, Hazard's back in the session. So all we got see. snipes There's going all... for a move on Beast Assassin up the inside, getting past on the freshest of tyres. Yeah, so uh, it will be hards for Beast off the start, but. Uh, it will be looking to just push through, I'm sure, 
on those, but a great move from uh, from what it seems. I didn't quite get enough of it, but um, from what it seemed, it looked like it was a decent move there for Snipes. It was nice move up the inside, and now he's trying to create a gap, catch up to Para. Oh, we look up towards the front, and yet again, it seems to go a little bit two by two, but Mitty is walking it off the start. He's now cooked out, which is one of the biggest gaps that a lot, apart from the guys that uh, had the, had a spin off the start. For some reason, I've got an interval off of Snipes, which doesn't help me out at all. It doesn't tell me <laughs> yeah. how far away he is. Which isn't great, but um, <laughs> nonetheless, it doesn't really matter all that much. So we shall move on as he's cooked out, out of DRS range. And, oh, we've got no more timing screens, so even better yep. news. As Zydra's passed Mercs, in fact, as they go, or they went side by side for a little bit, but it seems Zydra just got the move done with DRS up into turn one. So very solid there. Ooh, no lock up from D Brad. Very close to the back of uh, Para already. And B Dunk is actually very close to the back of Merck, so could it be uh, two positions lost very quickly for Merck's in the Red Bull? I have to just wait and see as uh, Zydrad pulls away and hopes to catch up to the current championship leader in the ham. Ghost Cult running and, uh, very nicely on the mediums in seventh. Yeah, he's had a very good start as uh, Ghost Cult, and it looks like, um, yeah, a very good, oh, very good start for him. Is Dylan, did Dylan start on the hards? Oh, wrong, wrong one. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. He is on the softs, so that's unsurprising. Same with Para, who started on the softs as well, so both of them had very quick starts. So I thought Para was going to go for the alternate strategy, but clearly he didn't. Uh, as I think actually around time this is around the time where we can change over to the tires now from the positions oh I've pressed the wrong button again lovely I'm doing really well today <laughs> so uh, we continue on and Zydrad's just slowly catching up to the back of Ham I wonder if perhaps he's getting held up there as Ham by Zydrad's teammate as uh, so we're going to ride and board with him just as you can see Ham and Freeman emerging from the top of the hill Little train forming behind Debunk. It looks to be 6th to 9th. Very, very little battle for the yeah. last points position. He's not too far. Ooh, a lock he up, locks up a bit the there inside. and Ghost Cult's going to go up the inside. Which then turns to the round, round the outside. Can he make that work? He's going to keep it. No, he's not. He's going to get DRS here. With a good exit, he might be Ooh, able to get the move. Could make it up the inside. Came. The 3 wide. Why? It was 3 wide there. I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, for me it was. <laughs> Dylan was looking there almost for a move on Ghost Cult. Oh, was Dylan losing the back end very much there? I just saw, and uh, he's hit the barrier, and Crispy has gone up position. Yeah, I just saw Crispy uh, Dylan lose the back end a little bit there, and yeah, he'll be into, into the, the pits. pits. As you can kind of see, just the just looking at the tyres, you can kind of see where roughly guys are coming out as the. The bottom five of the guys that uh, kind of oh, have either not spun or yet to pit, they are the bottom five at the minute, <laughs> basically. As so you can see, Jam and Bez has both pitted for wing changes and they're on the mediums. Uh, Darnell's on the softs, but of course he's spun already. And then the bottom five after that, which is Beast, down to Motion Hazard. There's, oh, Daisy has spun. Ooh. I think he, from what it's seen, just looking at the intervals, it looked like oh, he was going side by damage. side with Motion Hazard. I think as, it's got wing uh, damage. Darnell has gained positions on both of them. And so, yeah, I do believe Azza and Daisy have come together there. In fact, Dylan has passed him as well. And it looks like it's that. And it looks like there's been an incident up top. As Midzi has had an incident. And I've managed to miss that as well, which is amazing from myself. As it doesn't look like he's had wing damage. It looks like he might have just had a bit of a, maybe a little bit of a spin. As Zydrad will try and go round the outside. But oh, nice also that's weird. Mitty. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, I can't. It's so close Ooh. between the top guys. You can never quite tell just where to go. There's a lock up there for Ham. Very hard to overtake that. Yeah, so it is. Very challenging. Uh, am I correct in saying you went from pole to victory? It was a hard one, but... Um, 
Yeah. I, I believe you got a pole yesterday, didn't you? I'm not yeah, 100% pole, sure on that. Yeah, pole to victory. I think, yeah, so that was yeah, better. Not bad showing for yourself. Yeah, it's so already mate money over there. Your teammates would have done a bit better. But uh, Daisy's currently running plum last. In, and in the pits. Yeah, yeah off the pits. Kai Shimi probably got a bit of wing damage with that spin. Yeah, onto the softs. I, I would say Daisy's race is over. He's so off strategy. You can't really do anything. If I was him, I'd just go for fastest lap. Oh, well, you can't count him out just yet. You never know. If safety car could really change it. And I wouldn't be too massively. surprised if we get one because I'm pretty sure we've had one in every race so far. But it must be said, Daisy is very far back down the field now. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's not over until the fat lady sings, as they say. Absolutely and, not um, over until the check of flying. She ain't out. not singing just yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so this battle for P2 is still continuing on. Oh, big lock up there from Ham. Midsy isn't going to uh, get past, and that's a horrid camera angle, so I'm going to move. This is um, Have we got anybody else, perhaps, that's looking that can move? Crispy's very close to the back of Ghost Cult at the minute, but it's just making sure you get to see these moves getting done in the right places, as now Zydrad looks like he's very close to the back of oh. Midsy now. So, I missed uh, Freeman getting in the lead. <laughs> yeah, that was from Midsy. He had a spin. It's, I think oh, I he, missed he, that he, lost, he either had that or lost the back end quite badly. <laughs> just it was just in the final sector, and then um, he got swamped off um, down the back straight. And Freeman took the lead of the race. In fact, he's conked out there. He's proper gone for yeah. it. He's now 1.4 seconds clear. Clean air obviously benefiting these drops massively. We saw the same from Midsy, who got about one and a half seconds clear. Pretty see, it's all about slipstream. Here is. Is Midsy going to go? He's going to go side by side. In fact, he's going to go round the outside and get what seems to be the move done. As he does, he gets past, gets through, across, and done past Ham. And, uh, yeah, Ham locking up again into that left hand. Look. And, um, yeah, Midsy's back up into P2. So the surge to try and regain the lead of the race starts now for the Alfa Romeo driver. Yeah, I'd assume eight lap hold. I'd expect a pitting between lap 11 and 15 if you're on the softs. So he can afford to push his tyres a bit now. He knows he's going to be pitting soon. Try them real in Freeman whilst he has the chance before they pit onto the hards. Yep, they reckon about... Oh, it's lap 9 now. And they reckon earliest lap 12 to pit if you want to go straight onto the hards. So if that's the case, you know, we've got 3-4 laps or so now just to try and push on and... Hope for the best. Yeah, and of course the safety car could change it all massively. Some of these runners on the hard, Dylan, two lap old hards. If you have a couple of safety cars, he might be able to stretch that to the end if he's very soft on his tyres. So, still a long yeah. ways to go in this race. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised if we do see Dylan go to the end, but he'll just hope that he doesn't have uh, what happened to Midsy last time out in China where of course Midsy got a big puncture when he tried to go to the end on hards uh, on the final lap it was and it wasn't great it must be said I, I made a bit of a perform myself I was trying to figure out what happened to him for a really long time before I realised it was a puncture <laughs> um, that's no that's no shock no surprise it's a quite a common feature on the elite streams that I'll make a fool of myself as uh, it's just, a, just, a, it's just a red bar in a little bit, but it doesn't look like he's jumping across the screen, so that's all right. As Crispy is getting close to him, you'd expect Crispy to be faster on the soft compound tire. As uh, yes, I'm sure he'll just stick to the back of him as Ghost Colt tries to stick onto the back of B Dunk. Only really able to make moves properly on the back straight, and we're seeing Darcy in the pits again for the medium tires. And he's retired. Wonder, oh, he's retired. Yeah, as the died. top guys are pitted. So They're Freeman, all... Midsy, and Ham into the pits. That has released Zydrad into the lead of the race. He'll be trying to get a little bit of an overcut on these guys if he can get a fast lap in now. As I'm surprised be... we see these guys coming in onto the hard compound tyres. Let's see where the leaders are coming out. Looks like Freeman has come out in P5, just ahead of Saar and Beast Assassin. In fact, I believe Saar has just got that move done on Beast. As mm. Ham has just overtaken Midzi again. Uh, I wonder if Midzi... Oh, Midzi, I think, has just hit the back of somebody. 
because he's just straight away out of the pits. He's got wing damage. And oh, that that's is gonna horrible hurt. for Midzi as he leases more and more as Ham has got Ham? a yellow flag for ignoring yellow flags. And it's a virtual oh, right. safety cut. Come on. Snipes virtual. is in the barrier where he was. He was for um, moments. Yeah, he's running low on running. So everything is happening. And as we were saying, a virtual safety car. This could play very much into the hands of Zydrad. And Mercs, Para, those three guys. Look at them. They're on 10 lap old softs. Very close to the pits. They've, surely they've got to pit now if they've got any common sense. They have to. Yeah, Mercs he's comes been into the pits. Now. Ghost Cult won't. In fact, he will. No, he won't. He stays out. Paraquicks. So... Ghost Cut will take the net lead and Paraquits comes in as well. So just as we start going again, the top guys will have just hope, will possibly gain just a little bit more as Zydrad and Freeman are actually going to come out side by side as Zydrad comes out of the pits. I think Freeman's just going to get that lead, but that's a very good strategy there from Zydrad. He'll come out in P3. So very, very solid there. As Sara's come into the pit, so I wonder if he... Perhaps had a coming together with somebody. Maybe he had a coming together with Midzi, which caused them both wing damage. Oh, That's just what nearly, I'm assuming. Nearly side by side there into turn seven. Yeah, there's another little battle here for P7. Stacked up behind Midzi. You've got Smokes and B Dunk. Oh, he's maybe going up the inside of Smoke. Wow. Ooh. Crispy uh, seems to have lost the back end a little bit there. Yeah, so these guys are probably going out. In fact, Mercs and Beast Assassin are going side by side. Oh, this just came Mercs seems to cut off his front end a little got bit there. Through. But he gets the move done as then Ham will be back on the end. So Mercs is in the current net podium. So that's a really good seat. Smoke's gone past. Uh, Midzi. Midzi's clearly struggling with that little bit of damage that he's got. B Dunk and Crispy go side by side. Coming into the banking. Oh, Midzi's pushed B Dunk almost onto the gravel there. And it looks like Mids is going to get swamped into the pits. He comes to pit for his wing damage, I assume. So B-Dunk will be up into P8 and Crispy up into P9. Beast has also now been passed by Ham. And as you can see, the uh, net podium is a Hass 1-2 followed by Mercs. So we said that VSC was going to come in handy. And it definitely has uh, for those Ooh. two. So I've worked out Mercs. very Arrow, well. Back a little bit further back behind. Ooh. If you're in the Hass, the Hass boys, surely a bit of team orders at the moment. Oh, yellow flag. Looks like Snipes hit the wall again. He's on the Inters. Why is he on the Inters? How? Why is he on the Inters, old? <laughs> that's, that's very strange. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happened there for Snipes. As, uh, yeah, a lot of the guys have just see have seen that before we have. And as we see there, he comes out of the pits. He's onto the hards now, so that's a massive strategy error from the McLaren team there. Not often we see something like that. And as you were saying about, oh, he's actually going to come out a lap down as well. Ooh, he's that's gonna snipes. Hurt. He's straight away. He's going to get yet blue flags for the two Hass boys that are one and two. Oh, as they, and in fact, go very close to each other there. As Paris up ahead of B Dunk now into turn one. So B Dunk's clear. I think B Dunk's had a slight problem because Crispy's has jumped him as well. Crispy's flying. It must be said he's back already onto the back of Smoke. So could we perhaps see a little move from him at some point? So looking at that alternate strategy as well. Got to look at Beast and Smoke. They're both on still on their hards that they started on. Same as Saar, who has dropped yet another position. Where is that? That seems like it was a very strange position. In fact, Saar is losing more and more time. And he's uh, been overtaken by his teammate, Jam. Colt, I'm trying to figure out what do you think Colt's strategy would be. Do you think it's try and get on the softs? Nurse these for another... Uh, oh, and he's pitting. It will be tough. Oh, he pits as, as we pits speak. So for the hards. Is it? So that means it'll be... That's a very interesting strategy. I wouldn't have expected him to do a medium to hard, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe he was hoping for a... Uh, full safety card that maybe he meant mm. he could stretch it out and go into the softs, but that is not going to be the case. And uh, it m that now means that everyone is pretty much in a net position other than uh, the two, three guys that have started on the hards, I do believe. 
Maybe I think probably Jam Bez is still to pit as well. They'll be pitting onto the hards pretty soon, I'm sure. But I'm very excited to see what Beast and Smoke can do towards the end of this race because they are, are still yet to pit, but they'll be pitting onto softs right at the end. As the front two continue to go very close together. As a has driver. They're now both ahead of Snipes now. And Team Merck's orders quite and a bit down the road. So, I wonder what Gunther Steiner is thinking at the minute. What's, what would be in your head <laughs> yeah. if you are Gunther Steiner as it stands? Oh, I mean, God. Has one, two. Don't, don't crash into each other. Don't do a Spain 2016 for Mercedes. And, I don't know, just keep this pace. Freeman's got the track position. Don't fight for it. Accept what you've got and just manage the tyres. Surely that's a logical option. Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean, I'm sure both of these guys are thinking that they they would want the win more than the other. They're both very high up in the championship, and they're both be looking probably towards that championship at the end of the season. Neither As, uh, of them I won did. Yet. I think I missed it, but um, Beast let Ghost Colt through. I do believe as Ghost Colt was fresh on his tires, and in fact, it must be said for Ghost Colt, he's in a P he's in P5 at the minute, and that is. His current track position so to be fair to him he's done very well this race he started on the mediums and it's definitely made it work as a uh, scope says zydrad will want the win and i would not um i would can't disagree more to be honest. I mean, wait no i can't agree more i'm trying to remember <laughs> what the right saying is but um yeah no i definitely would agree with that zydrad will want the win so oh, be interesting to see left the session. as uh, Sar leaves the session, so you can get him back in there. That would be grand. As all we've got, Bezers is in a wall. In fact, Ooh. oh, and Midzi is as well. Midzi spun yet again. So both. Ooh. So the man that's third in the championship currently, who had a torrid time last time out, and yet again it continues as Ham has now passed Mercs up into P3. Everything's happening all at once. He's done that down into turn one. And he'll be on the hunt as uh, he gets yet again that lock up into turn what I'm going to call turn three. I don't know if it actually is turn three or not, but I'm calling it turn three. I don't care what anybody else says. Anyway, <laughs> um, Bezos comes into the pits. That'll be, he's, I definitely saw some wing damage there and they're bringing out the front wing for him. As there's three minutes. Nice little somewhere. Zydra seems to be driving oh. away a bit from Ham. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure those two are in a party with each other at the minute. Midzi has retired from the session. He clearly uh, knows that's enough for him for tonight. He's had a horrid lap, a horrid race out there tonight, and uh, I'm sure he'll be focusing on next week in this Spain, is a and he'll definitely try and bounce back. Day to forget for him, surely. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be put right to the back of his mind. Midzi's a very solid racer, and I'm sure that he'll be thinking as... Ooh, Snipes Ooh. just whacked himself into the wall. I just watched there Ooh. as he's literally just come through the banking and just had a nice little meeting with the wall, and as you can see, straight into the pits he goes, and he will join Snipes Midzi retired. in the retirement home. And so that is now called the... So there are three retirements. Midzi, Snipes, yep, and Dolphy. A lot of the, uh, a couple of the guys with myself, uh, I do a little run, a little prediction uh, series for the real life F1, and we often are, figure ask ourselves how many DNFs are there going to be, how many retirements are going to they're going to be in the race, and um, I wouldn't have, I probably would have put three or more, for, um, mm. or it would have been more than three. I, that I wouldn't have expected any less. Normally we see a lot of threes and twos in our little predictions, like so the. Myself, Beast is in it, Smoke's in it, um, Darnell is in it as well, actually. So, yeah, a couple of us are all, uh, all have our little prediction that we do. But, um, yeah, it's not great for those guys, but yeah, we've got three retirements at the minute. And uh, I wouldn't have, um, I'm not so massively surprised as Zydred's going to go for a move and he gets it done on Freeman. That looks like it was a very simple move to do. Of course, they wouldn't fight with each other. As you say, they were put, they have been pulling away a little bit. Ham will be looking to try and push down as Crispy overtakes Beast uh, down the back straight as well. Um, that's going to be see a move from Ham on sorry Jam on Dylan. I keep on getting Ham and Jam confused, and it's getting <laughs> on my nerves. Um, yeah, so we've got 
uh, Skypes reckons Jam could go onto the mediums again. Of course he can. He started on the softs, didn't he? So um, yeah, we could see a soft, medium, medium for Jam. I wouldn't be too surprised. B dunks right on the back of motion hazard as they go through. Could we perhaps see a move from the American? And it doesn't look like it will be just yet. Okay, so yeah, just looking through as you were saying about um, the two Hass guys. Um, yeah, as they were pulling away, looks like they've added a little discussion. Perhaps they've gone for okay. You can lead a couple laps, then I'll lead a couple laps. <laughs> just, uh, see who, whoever go if the, if we go side by side, uh, whoever is quicker will take it, and we just won't battle for too much and try and pull away. And being a hash driver myself, I would really hope for that. <laughs> I've just checked um, the Discord. It looks like Midzi is saying that an AI car came out of the pits incredibly slowly after someone retired and he got wing damage off it. Oh, yeah, the so that could have been... Oh, it wasn't too long ago. It, must, it was a while since Daisy pitted, to be mm. fair. So clearly that's not great. Um, yeah, that's, that's really not good to see. Um... Anyway, nonetheless, we go. Um, for some reason, I've lost my intervals. Lost all my times, yeah. I've just vanished. Um, so, well, oh, I don't really want to focus on the top two for as much as possible. As Snipes leaves, that's fine because he's... Yeah, he's obsession. already retired. He's had enough, that's fine. Tired of this race. Ham and Mercs continue to just try and chase down the top two. As the gap is slowly increasing, sorry, I should say slowly uh, decreasing. But, um, yeah, a couple of these guys, I'm sure, will be going for it. Do you know when roughly the guys that are on the hards will stop? Because I don't think it's just yet. Um, I would imagine. I wouldn't expect it to be. What do you reckon? Probably lap 25, 24? Maybe, yeah, uh, I'd say 24 yeah, no, I'd to that. 26. Yeah, because they do, um, they reckon the softs do around 12 laps. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see around lap 23, 24, a couple of the guys come into the pits. Um, you can be our little stat man for today. Um, you can, <laughs> yeah, you can be our strategic specialist. So, if uh, they make you eat your words, it's your fault. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll, uh, we'll see. As ooh, jams very close to the back of smoke. The, I saw smoke and Dylan just going side by side a little bit. As smoke and beast are slowly getting just almost demolished by the rest of the field here on much quicker ooh, tires. Ooh, jam up the inside of the smoke trip through wide. the gravel. Oh, I think he's got a puncher. No, he hasn't. It looked like he had a puncher on that back <laughs> rear left, but he hasn't. Uh, I think he just. Had a little bit of a coming together with uh, Jam there. Oh, jam in the pit. That is, yeah, Jam's pitted. That'll be for it... his last set of mediums, I'm assuming. Soft. I reckon he if softs. he tried. Oh, so perhaps he might be. That's that's quite good actually. I think that's quite interesting. As um, yeah, he'll be very quick now for the rest of this race, and I'm sure he'll be followed not too far. Not too far time, I should say, by the likes of Beast and Smoke. Yeah, I, I don't Beast know who to focus on because I've just watched Jam do a pit stop, and I'm not too proud of that. <laughs> As Merx is just about within DRS of the man in third place, rounding off the podium as it stands. Ham, uh, so the Has One Two is working at the minute, and it seems Zydrad is just just keeping a very solid gap to his teammate, and it looks like. Uh, He's the man that's in control of it at the minute, and they're not doing too badly uh, with one another. So, going, yeah, they're, they're the closest two on track at the minute, but I doubt they're <laughs> going to be doing all that much battling. So, it's kind of swings and roundabouts at the minute. We're trying to figure out just where people are going to be coming out. Um, mm. Who else? There's literally nobody that's that close on track. <laughs> it so it's not part. great. Um, yeah, everyone's just about a second apart, so just out of DRS. I, it looks like Dylan might be catching on Paraquix a little bit, but then I reckon Paraquix is going to be catching on Beast at the same time. So, um, 
Yeah, we'll give these guys a bit of screen time, because why not? Because I'm sure this could get very interesting very soon. Uh, yeah, we just see Para just slowly catching up on Beast. I'm expecting a very big end to the race from Beast. He's very solidly in the points at the minute. I don't, th I think probably coming out, he'll come out around where B-Dunk is probably at the minute. Although, to be fair, he uh, he was in front of Jam, wasn't he? Um, so maybe not. Are, is the pit when is the pit lane quite short then? It is, isn't it, around here? So, um, yeah, it's quite a short pit the, lane. The loss in the pit lane isn't as much. I think it's about so I 18 he'll come seconds. Up probably around where Jam is. As we'll watch, is Beast going to come into the pit? He's pitting. Now? He is. He is. Yeah. So is Smoke going to follow suit? Uh, we'll watch. See Smoke onto the soft seat. tires. It'll be interesting to see where Beast comes out because we could see a very nice little battle. Yellow flag. That's one. Someone's off. Merx is one out. Of the Red off. Merx is out. And that's a virtual safety, safety car. car. Oh. That is going to help Assassin. That he's caught that. That he's caught that curb. On the exit of uh, of the banking, that outside curb. If you clip that outside curb, your car spins out of control, and I reckon that's what's happened to Merck's there. That's really unfortunate. Beast has got like ahead. The uh, unluckiest driver of all in the pre end of season awards last year, <laughs> and that is Merck's out of it. He was in such a good position. He was in P4. He definitely could have got a podium. So that is horrendous luck for Merck's there, and it's really shame to see it. But um. Yeah, we've got uh, Motion Hazard's got a drive through for speeding under the safe VSC, so that's not great. Um, of course, there was a glitch last year, if you weren't aware, that, um, where drivers could speed when it says oh, safety car ending. Virtual safety exploited car ending. that, that many a time. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that is not the case anymore, so um, we shall see. Is in fact, yeah, Beast has come out just in front of Jam, and for me, that's going to be the most exciting battle of all at the minute. I Jam's think so. Tires are going to be just one lap uh, older, I should say, as they those two will cut. I'm sure will try and hunt down Darnell, as Jam surely going to get the move done here as we ride on board with him. Then look backwards. In fact, he sets a purple in sector three in doing so. Beast will try and keep around. That's a lovely little camera angle. I managed to do that. As um, oh, I've gone a bit too far ahead. As yeah, we'll just show Beast as he. I'm sure those two will have a nice little, perhaps a nice little ding dong battle. Next couple of minutes, in fact, Dylan is very close to the back of Paraquix. I wonder if Para might have had a little bit of a problemo there. I don't think he has. I think he's all right. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to definitely be worth keeping tabs on that battle for P10. And I'm sure that will become P9 very soon. I'm sure. I'm surprised Smoke hasn't pitted yet. I'm expecting Smoke to pit soon. Oh, as... yellow flag oh, sector one and two. It's a racing points off. B-Dunk. Yeah, B-Dunk's just gone. On the exit of that, that right-hander, he's come Ooh, out he's lost just, front sure, just in time for Motion Hazard to come through. Who, of course, are replacing Ryan Jones at the minute. Go, uh, yeah, B-Dunk snap back to the bottom. We were expecting big things from him, and he looked good in quality, but that's a spin there, and that's not going to be very helpful for the American. As uh, Jam has actually taken all. Beast out of his DRS. I know Jam was fast, but I didn't quite realise he was this fast. That's why he's second in the championship at the minute. And Smoke, who is still yet to pit, has got Darnell right on the back of him. Why haven't you pitted yet, Smoke? Surely he's pitting this lap. Surely he's pitting this lap. He must do. He's got Darnell, I mean, Jam, and probably soon to be Beast right on the back of him. And he's just going to be losing time. Cause... Yeah, he's just losing time at this point. He's just lost a position to Dylan and Para, in fact. He's lost position to both of them. So I wonder if he had a little problem. Um... But he hasn't lost anything there as B Dunk now retires from the pit lane. As the leaders will come through, they're still in formation as they have been. And yeah, B Dunk's gone. So that's the end of B Dunk's race. I'm sure he won't be too pleased with how his race has gone tonight. It's unlucky, unfortunate for him. <laughs> yeah, glad, uh, passes. Glad you liked that. Said in there. As, yeah, look at that. They're right on the back of Smoke. Surely Smoke's is going to it now. So um, don't go up the inside, Darnell. No, he's not going to pit. He is, and Smoke's going to stay out, possibly because of it. Yeah. Um, why hasn't Smoke pitted yet? He's still yet to pit, is Smoke. Um, Darnell's going to go side by side with him, it. Oh, it's going to end the crash. Into the, ooh, how, oh, 
Ooh. surprised they haven't collided there. Jow's this button is going to bring Beast right back into it and very looking good for his first points to finish as Darnell and Smoke continue to go side by side. It just shows such great oh. racing between the two of them. <laughs> they, as all Jam gets Jam involved, he's gone up the inside of both of them. He's and he's going to get, beautiful I think, move. the move done. He has. Well done, Jam. He's just got both of them there. And uh, oh, Smoke gets to the back end out, and Beast is now going to go side by side and round the outside. In fact, he goes a lovely move from Beast there on, on the struggling Smoke. Surely, Smoke, it's time to come in now. I think he's As left that Jam too long. Jam has gone up to P8 very quickly from P11 uh, after that VSC. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's, a man he's on made a up some good ground. And uh, Beast and Darnell are not too far behind him, and Beast is in the points. As that is, Bezos has just gone round in that looks like the second sector that they're probably on the exit of that right hander as Motion Hazard gets past him. And Smoke is still not pitting. How is oh, Smoke what is he doing? He, he's still, I'm pretty sure, I will just check, but stops. Yeah, he's the only person left to pit. I'm not quite sure what he's planning. Is he planning a no stop? Surely not. <laughs> um... If he does, that's very strange. I wouldn't have expected it. But um, looking at these gaps, there's just not too much in it at the minute. And uh, Beast is on the back of Darnell. We said he would be. Surely Smoke's pitting now. We're just going to say this every lap. Bezos is now retired after his spin. He's now out of the session. The two Haas drivers are still one and two. Ham's in P3. I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up as our podium. Unless Jam can do something magical in these last seven laps and gain what's roughly around 20 seconds. So that'll be a bit hard. I think I doubt he'll be able to do that. Um, yeah, no, uh, we're just reading in the chat. So he says Smoke's probably begging for a safety card at a minute, but uh, he's gonna probably just going to have to pit. And I wouldn't agree more. I mean, it's kind of quite a shame I would have suggested that he pitted under that VSC a bit like what uh, I think Beast and what happened there was very good somebody else did as well sorry what was that hmm? what were you saying I was saying your back you were connecting <laughs> oh was I yeah oh, that's not great I um, that, um you could still hear me but, um, nah. <laughs> um anyway let's hope the stream could hear me uh, um, I've been trying to go for it, but nonetheless, <gasps> Beast yet again continues to go. As oh, Freeman's through. Going to swap positions yet again. I'm gonna just oh, quickly spam like up there and try flying. and find him. And I reckon like Freeman's flying. just gone through there. Um, yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? What do you reckon they're gonna go and do now? Those two sit behind the, each other and. Ring not crash i i want to say like free to race wheel to wheel action but there's so many points on the line freeman hit possibly is, his I'm first not, win this season you know who's on fastest lap at the minute i don't know if we can uh, find out that out yeah he can the fastest that's got is on motion hazard at the minute which I, isn't right actually because it says he's got a 0 0.98 i don't know what an absolute a, lap <laughs> That's a that's a fast like yeah. 0.9 second lap. Look at that. No wonder he's in a lead. Oh, wow, that's impressive. That kind that is. of pace, understandable, really. Yeah, I'm not, that, that makes sense. Has... Why he's got fastest lap? That's surely a lap record. Surely, <laughs> Scopes um, is saying has. Other than that, the threats. true fastest lap is with Jam at the minute, uh, with a 111.1. If we get a faster lap, we'll have to wait and see towards the end. But nonetheless, we move. Um, <laughs> Crispy is getting close to the back of Ghost Cult for P4. We've got... Oh, um, what am I pressing the wrong buttons? Still, Beast is still yet to get past Darnell. Surely he's losing time to Jam, which you'd expect. Darnell's, in fact, just picked up a three-second time penalty. But I'm still riding on board just with our leaders because they are absolutely flying. They're three seconds in front of Jam, and the gap stayed relatively the same. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not expecting a different podium from these three at the minute. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, really. Um, <laughs> still a bit early for driver of the day. Uh, we've got, yeah, I'm just going to focus with these two at the minute. This could be a little juicy little battle, maybe, hopefully. 
That's what we'll hope for. We pray. Crispy and Ghost Cult for P4. Would be yeah, a yeah. great battle. If Crispies so, uh, within a second of Ghost. Yeah. I've... Yeah. Uh, he'll. That's. A, it'll be a very good result for Crispy if he can get P4. I believe that'll be his quickest one. Uh, quickest. Oh, sorry, his quickest. His uh, best finish in Elite so far this season. Uh, of course, he, I'm pretty sure he was the pole man in Bahrain, if I'm not mistaken, which kind of shocked a lot of guys. But um, yeah, no, he's just sticking to the back of um, the Englishman. As Beast, is Beast, can go through. Beast has just managed to stay in DRS and he's going to have to push now if he's going to get any more points than just the one. As <laughs> I've got to say again, Smoke has still not pitted, and he still isn't pitting on that thirty-two. <laughs> he's gone I think by this point he's just going for it. He's just Surely going. He's not going to go to the end. Surely yeah. not. I mean, it's not worked for him. If he's out of the points, I don't think he's going to be able to get back in the points unless he pits Might for as well soft. See if the, and there's no a safety stop car. works then. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, if I if I smoke just just uh maybe just have a little experiment. Can a no stop work at yeah. Zanvor? Or well, it's it's not very it's slow, but it might work to the end. We'll have to wait and see. If uh, if he gets a puncher towards the end you're gonna have to let me know. <laughs> um <laughs> as uh yeah, Crispy is trying to push to try and catch up to Ghost Cult, he'll be too far away to get P four off of him. And Beast has dropped out of the RS of Darnell, so he's slowly beginning to struggle, I think, on those softs. The tire wear's going to start kicking in. There's all a big look up there from Ghost Cult. And, um, Crispy's getting clo ever closer, but I just don't think it's... We'll, we'll, we have to be interested and see if it will be enough. As Ghost Cult will have to preserve fuel as he's on negative fuel at the minute. As you can see by the <laughs> little yellow icon. And as a shock... As a, ooh, to be fair, ja Ham is catching the leaders very slightly, but uh, he's gone up about half a, half a second, roughly, since the last time we checked in on that gap. And it might just be seeing if, if he can perhaps catch up to those two, the two leaders, the two Haas drivers. Yeah, I don't know how much the Haas are pushing at the moment. Yeah, I'm not well, sure whether they're just controlling the pace or whether they're pushing each other I would think that they've got more in them if they needed it but I just like staying off the dodgy curves making sure they don't spin that type of thing I reckon yeah that's uh fair and um yeah hopefully the, those two oh, here we go the, well that half a second has almost been put back on just through that first sector alone <laughs> so um the two Haas drivers they're just they're just chilling in each other's dirty air almost. It's almost like a... It feels like a Mercedes version of this year, really. It's not been yeah. <laughs> too great, this race, in terms of the lead. Because it's just been these two the entire time. These two, yeah. you see, had his struggles from the, off the start. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm... That crispy 2001 is looking very tastily at the back yeah. of Ghost Cult. And I'm just waiting to see when it's going to be that he hits when he just goes through here surely we've only got a couple laps left of the race as well in fact the leaders are just about to start the penultimate lap of the race crispy's got that like excessive revving glitch i don't really want to be on board with him but he's the man to yeah. be on board with at the minute he's <laughs> he's the most exciting we're waiting for him to go for a move and we Ooh, can just fear that it's coming maybe even no. Ghost, they're both running low on ers so um we shall see Notoriously hard to overtake here. Really, oh, what a massive lockup! It's going to get him closer, but you can only really overtake on the main straight, and you have to be incredibly close to get it done. Can Ghost hold yep, him off? From two what more it seems, laps. It looks like it's Freeman's race to lose, as uh, the two Haas drivers are entering what will be the third sector of the penultimate lap. So, um. Yeah, well, it's about that time. In fact, we're probably a little bit later than normal. But with, with the fact that we are on the penultimate lap, about to be the final lap. And Smoke has finally pitted. Smoke has finally <laughs> pitted. That's, that's distracting me from the fact that he's pitted on lap 34. 
what will be for him. <laughs> but um, who's going to be the driver of the day? Let's get some driver of the day votes in the chat. You could be looking at uh, Freeman and Zydrag both had a very solid race. Ghost Colt has gained a lot of positions. In fact, we're going to change the he details. Must. So the position change, yeah. so you can see Ghost Colt's gone up eight. Power quicks as well. Has gone up eight as well. Para's up, set, up, up nine. He's had a great race at his home Grand Prix. And uh, that's going to be ever closer, although he does have a jam within ham six right tenths. on the back He's of him. Gained quite a Gained about half There's, a second. Oh, has Crispy had a night. bit of a moment? Because he's backed off massively off of Ghost Cole. And, um, he could have done. He was on his tail. Yeah, he's he's not getting P4 now unless Ghost Cole has got a penalty. And yeah, in fact, as... as we say that, let's go on board with the leaders. Because it's getting towards the end of this race. Very solid race all round from a lot of the people. We've got a lot of, jo uh, a lot of votes coming in. We've got Smoke Driver of the Day because he's managed to last so long from Dorsey. We've got uh, we've got, we've got Ghost Driver of the Day from Callum is for his Ferrari team. It's same with Panther. We've got Para, Jam, Zydrad, Jam again. We've got Para again. So it's uh, seems Para, Ghost, and Jam. It's a lot of those. And Ghost has got another one. Lots of Driver of the Day votes come in as Freeman wins. From Zydrad, from Jam, sorry, from Ham, from Ghost Cult, from Crispy. So it's a shock. Uh, not massively a shock, I should say. Uh, as the guys <laughs> Top the line. three. Power and Jam. Changing. Power gets P7. He does well there to maintain it. As Darnell gets P9. Beast will get that P9 off of him. Darnell gets P10, and that's his second point of the season. Beast's first points finish. I believe that's the same as uh, Power as well has got his first points. First points finish of the season, I believe, as well, if I'm not mistaken. But um, now it's just Sars come home for P11. Here comes Smoke and Hazard. Smoke on 34 old lap old hards, he managed to make it. And yeah, Smoke in P12. We've got Hazard now across the line to finish it off, and P13 it is for him. So there's so much going on. If you could get our podium three into the party, that would be absolutely amazing. And I'll get you underway with uh, the um, the interviews. I'll let you start them off when we do. Just looking through, it's so hard to tell you just who is going to get driver of the day. Um, who would you give driver of the day to? I think probably. Oh, it's very hard. I think I'm going to do Jam um, just because he fell back and fought back. Yeah, you've got to admit, Jam, uh, of course, he had his incident off the start, which dropped him down right to the back of the field. And then, of course, he came back to finish a solid P8. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm happily, I'd happily give Jam the driver of the day. But as you can see on the podium celebrations, it is a 1 2 for Team Hass. Remember. And. Uh, very solid result for both of them. The very controlling race, and that is what will be 43 points going towards Team Haas in the Constructors Championship. Of course, the current con Joint Constructors uh, leaders, the current leaders are Joint Constructors, and Hazard has just gone up to P4 on the timing screens. I'm not quite sure how that's <laughs> happened, but um, um, <laughs> I don't think that's right. That might be a little bit of a timing glitch, no. but... Uh, we probably just leave that, but it was Freeman that took the win over Zydrad by literally 0.2 seconds. So it was, that was how close it was between the two hash drivers. Jam, ha sorry, Ham Jam came home in P3. Uh, uh, we got Ghost Cult was P4, despite what the game will tell you. Crispy P5, Dylan in seventh, Power in Power is in seventh, Dylan was in P6. So a very solid result for Dylan as well. And then we had uh, Jam in P8. Beast in P9 and Darnell in P10 was the top 10. So then, would you like to get the interviews underway with the man in P3? Sure. So, qualified. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's left. <laughs> Who's left? <laughs> Ham. He's vanished. But he's just, the, he's just left the party. Oh, there you go. He's he was back. in. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Is, uh, all three in, yeah? Yeah, they are now. 
<laughs> oh, perfect. Right, Ham. Started second, fell back to third. Pretty uneventful race. Like, at moments you had the pace to catch the Hasses, and then, in the end, not quite enough laps. How was the race from your point of view? Yeah, I mean, I think it was. Yeah, I was. A, it was a good performance from you, to be honest. I was pretty impressed, but I think it was, as really just summed up by a quiet race for you, <laughs> sitting there in P three. I apologise for that. Um, I didn't really say anything anyway. Anyone that's listening, um, I've ticked my box now. I didn't really say anything because nothing much happened. Uh, I got shafted in the pits because um, cars don't ghost. That's league rules. That's something you know you've got to just take on the chin, I think. Um, and then I said, "Well done, Tarim Zaja as well." Um, and yeah, sorry, could you just repeat your questions, I mate? Because uh, I can't really remember what you said. <laughs> um, so, other than it being a quiet race, did you did you enjoy? It? Are you happy with your performance today? P three uh, is a good solid number of points. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I can't really have too many complaints because obviously the the guys closest to me in the championship uh, got shafted themselves. But yeah. Um, like I say, disappointing to be put out of the running in, in that way. But yeah, it would have been interesting to see um, what I could have done if I was if I was still up there. Because, well, I mean, I, I closed the gap down quite significantly and then just sort of had no ERS or anything. So couldn't really push <laughs> on from there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the Hasses seem to have incredible pace and almost formation flying for the majority of that race but I think you should be happy with P3 uh, very good qualifying for second very impressed narrowly missing out on pole um, well done yeah cheers boys well then we'll move on to the P2 man which is uh, the man himself Zydrad congratulations mate uh, a great oh, so very solid result for yourself of course one two for the team which is absolutely amazing especially for myself as well as you two continue to carry me throughout the joint constructors but uh nonetheless um a very solid race from yourself you had a bit of a quiet qualifying wasn't too great but then you capitalized on the vsc and it basically gave you the one two finish wouldn't you say uh well yeah in uh quali i i didn't do my best despite me believing in my wet pace around here uh qualified p7 and uh capitalized on other people's unfortune i guess uh and obviously the vsc was very lucky that i stayed out an extra lap because uh, i allowed freeman to get the undercut if you will because he was covering off midsey and ham if it wasn't for that vsc i definitely wouldn't have been anywhere near freeman i don't think because uh i probably would have been seven eight seconds down the road so it was good enough for, good enough for me to keep second um because of the fresh tires i i Pitch the idea to Freeman to swap to kind of extend the gap for both of us and then to switch switch, switch it back in the late in the race and uh, paid off for us. Got one too. Yeah, very solid. Um, what, how do you feel about uh, the old whole quali thing with a uh, of course it was it was a bit of a struggle was quali, but um, yeah, he didn't have the best performance. Of course, it didn't matter in the end, but um, yeah, yeah, well, how do you feel quali went? I first of all, that that whole Q3 session was complete question marks because at the start of the quality session it said it was going to be heavy rain just at the end of it but then it ended up being heavy rain right at the start of it so a bit of confusion there but seventh place poor from me but I, I i kind of pride myself on my race pace rather than my quality pace and showed here 
Well, congratulations, mate, and a very solid race to take back to the team for, for the both of you. So uh, would you like to con well to continue us on to the winner? Well, happily, Owen. Um, firstly, Freeman, huge congratulations. Uh, your first victory this season after many a pole position. I'm sure you'll be happy. Not from pole this time, but your first win. How are you feeling? Yeah, um... I'm actually pretty happy. Um, yeah, me and Zydra, we just pretty much throughout the whole race, we just try to keep it smooth, not get any pins. We knew we had a decent gap after what happened to Mizzy and him in the pits, which was very unfortunate for them. So we just tried to swap. We swapped a couple times, as Zydra said, and yeah, took the win. Pretty good gap, and yeah, pace was good, so pretty happy about that. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid P1 performance. Both both of you really looking like Mercedes, to be honest. Absolutely <laughs> at the front with no one really to challenge you. Um, very impressive from the both of you. Did you ever feel like racing one another? Or was the whole thing under team orders? Pretty much team orders. We just... We were pretty much keeping an eye on him every while to see how the gap was. And we were going to swap if he got too close to us. So... Um, very lucky that that didn't happen and that he didn't get too close to us, so it all worked out in the end. Uh, I'm very happy. I'm sure Zydra is as well. Yeah, it was a great performance from both of you. Huge congratulations to yourself, Freeman, Zydra as well, and the whole Haas team. <laughs> well Thank done, you. all of you. Yeah, yeah Cheers, man, massive win for, for the team. And um, yeah, of course, uh, as I was saying earlier, it's uh, perfect to. Um, you know, you guys are scoring such high points considering that I am still yet to score for the team. So, uh, we shall continue to dominate the joint constructors, please. That'd be great. Cheers. <laughs> Carry me to that and uh, I'll be happy. But um, nonetheless, um, yeah, great performance from both the Haas boys. Great uh, great to see for both of them and, of course, for myself, but that doesn't matter. Um, it'll be, uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyable race and it must be said we, uh, we had a very, well, I had a lot of battles very exciting and um yeah just a lot went on and it was a great great race to watch and i'm sure you'd agree rando yeah it was it was an interesting race to watch at the beginning a lot of close action spread out towards the end but still a very impressive race to watch pleasure pleasure commentating it with you Owen. yeah thank you for oh, of course making your commentary debut tonight uh for I, SLR. Right. and it's, yeah as you say it's been a pleasure <laughs> having you and uh yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure we'll look forward to hearing you a little bit more in the future. If of course you did enjoy it today, which um, I did, had a great time. Did. But um, nonetheless, uh, we shall uh, sign off. So, uh, as you say, it's been uh, DNK Rando eighteen and myself SLR Owen. Uh, congratulations to Freeman, to Zydrad, and to Ham, our podium sitters, and our driver of the day to Jab. And uh, yeah, we've been SLR. Good night. <laughs>